Most residential pools range in size from 5,000 gallons to 30,000 gallons. So the amount of shock you need to treat a swimming pool isn't a one size fits all answer. But with HGH on your side, it is easy to figure out. All you need to do is figure out the total volume of your swimming pool. You can calculate the total volume in three different ways. Number one, you can of course call the pool company that built your pool. They should have your dimensions and volume on hand. Number two, use the easy pool volume calculator on hthpools.com. For the best accuracy, you'll need to have the dimensions of your pool on hand. Or number three, calculate your pool volume yourself. We'll walk you through that process right now. The pool volume equation for a rectangular pool is length times width times average depth times 7.5. Start by calculating your average depth. That's your shallow end depth plus your deep end depth divided by two. And then you can calculate the rest. Always round up to make sure your pool gets enough chlorine. Once you have your pool volume, it's time to shock treat your pool water. I'm using HGH Pool Care Shock Advanced, which calls for one pound of shock for every 13,500 gallons of pool water. Since this pool is around 21,000 gallons, we'll round up and add about three pounds of shock. Now that you have your swimming pool's total volume, it's time to add your shock. First, you'll want to test your pool water to make sure it's balanced. I like using HGH six-way test strips because I can simply scan my test strip using the HGH Test to Swim app and get personalized results in seconds. Before you use the chemicals, make sure you have on protective gloves and eyewear. Never mix different chemicals or dissolve them before use and always follow label instructions. It's also a good idea to leave the pool uncovered overnight to allow the shock to work and avoid damaging the cover. The instructions on the HTH Pool Care Shock Advanced package tell us to add the granules directly to the pool, broadcasting the product evenly over a wide area in the deepest part of the pool. After applying the shock to the pool water, you'll want to take your pool brush and disperse those granules so they don't sit in one spot. Is it possible to add too much shock to your pool water? We get this question a lot and it's pretty tough to do. When you're measuring the amount of shock to add, it's okay to round up and in fact, it's recommended. Just make sure your free available chlorine levels are between one and four parts per million before swimming. Your test strips can confirm your levels. Many pool owners also wanna know if shock and aldicide can be added to the pool at the same time. The short answer to this question is no. Let the shock fight the algae first, then add algicide about 24 hours afterwards to finish the job and prevent future algae blooms. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to successfully shock your way to beautifully clean and clear water. For more helpful tips, check out our other HTH Pool Care videos. You're all clear with HTH.